there are only eight feelings. Um, there are only three primary colors. There are only three primary colors. That's not a giant debate, right? So I'm asking you to treat these maybe like three primary colors. They're kind of self-evident. There they are. So it doesn't have to be a giant debate. There are only eight. It's not like a giant big deal. There's not some huge memorization thing. They're already natural to you. You already know what they are. You just got to be willing to admit that you have them and surrender to the facts and then live in acceptance of, of doing something with them. So if, if you know the three primary colors and you can mix and match those colors, you can become an incredible artist, a, a person who, who, who gets how to paint to multiple tones and expressions of life. These are just tools that let you become multi-talented. They, they're, they're there to expand. They're just eight. You have a certain number of organs in the body. There are a certain number of musical notes. There are three primary colors and there are eight feelings. It's kind of, sorry. Now, yeah, Chip, but there are more feelings than that. Well, no, there aren't. I, well, go look. You just keep looking and it's going to come back to, at least I got 30 years of looking. And if I were sitting in a Hebrew audience right now from the days of the psalmist and I were talking about this, they'd say, how come you tell us what we already know? We already know all this. We write psalms about this, okay? So why don't you move on? Move along, son. You go back to first grade. See? So I want you to know that, that they're just eight feelings. That's all they are. If you want to try to find more, go ahead. I haven't been able to find more. I just say, just say that.